Okay, this is a medication review uh, for the medications we use with our infant. We use this infant Tylenol at um, at Bella's two month shots. It's got a little hole up here for this syringe right here. You stick it in that hole, turn it upside down, suck it into the syringe, get the correct dosage. And you just put it in her mouth and or his or her mouth and squirt the Tylenol in there. This particular kind is cherry flavored. There's a book flap here, you open it. It is literally a book. I'm not kidding. Oh, here's some more pictures of the syringe. It explains it right there better. But uh, then back here, there's this chart here. It tells you dosage limits. Um, go to your doctor. They have a better, more explained dosage for different weights and everything. Um, but the Tylenol seems to work fairly well, especially when she's got gas and we can't seem to get it to go away. We do give her a shot of Tylenol every once in a while, and it does work. Um, oh, wrong one. This one is Little Remedies Child Nose Saline Spray or Saline Drops. A lot of people seem to recommend this. It's got a smaller tip, but a lot of people seem to, like, swear by this one here. However, I disagree with it because it seems like the snot isn't penetrated very well by the saline drops as well as... This one it sprays, it's Arm & Hammer Saline Spray, and it seems to penetrate the nose snot far better, and me personally, we recommend this better, or more I guess I should say. And something I would also like to add is this, oops, wrong one. this is the adult saline spray, bigger tip, you also have to squeeze it to get the drops out, you know, and it comes out more of a mist as well, and I prefer like I said the Arm & Hammer but both of these are like the exact same they, there's not really any difference it's just one says it's for a child one says it's for an adult but um, one of the things I'd like to say I guess is the tip of this one is a lot longer and also somewhat thicker but not much than this one obviously because this one is designed for infant noses um, but it does say child or children of all ages on it. And then this here is our diaper rash cream. You know, a lot of people will get, I think it's called Desitin, um, the expensive brand. This is just cheap diaper rash cream, as you can see. We've used quite a bit. Um, I don't see a difference, personally. It seems, this stuff seems to clear it up within a day. Overnight, usually put it on at night if she's got a rash, and then next morning it's gone. Yeah, she gets rashes everywhere, necks, armpits, butts, it works anywhere. It's like she's got little rolls on her legs and you got to spread her rolls apart and she's got rashes in them. But she doesn't get rashes very often, thankfully, because we wash them, wash the, the spots fairly often. But, I mean, there's a couple warnings on the back, nothing really worth mentioning. Um, ingredients list tells you up here pretty much just tells you what this does. I mean it's looks like a four ounce tube. I think this costs us like two dollars compared to like six dollars for the like a smaller tube of desitin so definitely recommend this. Um, I guess that's basically all the medications that I think you should absolutely have for your infant child or even maybe even a toddler minus the diaper rash cream. So um, I guess that's everything so see you guys.